the neuroscience that are looking at the unconscious will look at like whether you see it or don't, right? Do you see the word sex or don't? Do you see the old woman or not? Which is kind of like a static unconscious. It's devoid of emotion, of motivation, of meaning. So what I was really interested in is the sort of the dynamic unconscious, the Freudian, you know, really rich contextual unconscious. And Freud was a neuroscientist. And he actually, when he was coming up with all of his theories, he was trying to map them out in the brain. And this actually is Freud's diagram of what he thought the neural basis of repression was. He thought you have like this information going one, from one neuron to the next, but then it gets sidetracked in this side cathexis and pushed away and relegated to the unconscious. So the interesting thing about Freud is I don't think he was right in everything he said. But with the modern tools that we have, where we can now peer into the brain, why not test out some of his theories and see if it holds true, given what we know today about neuroscience? Because he didn't have the tools that we have now to really look at the brain and see how these theories of the mind were instantiated in the brain. So I'm just going to go over a couple of studies that are beginning to look at the neural basis of the dynamic unconscious. And these studies didn't necessarily specifically set out to kind of explore